Hey everybody, it's now I'm Nappy. And this week while we focus on week two of our protective style challenge, we will focus on herbs for hair growth, making this tea. And while we apply it to our hair, I will tell you all about hair products that contain toxic chemicals that are linked to breast cancer that affect mainly black women. So let's get into it. Okay y'all, so we're beginning week two of our protective style challenge. And this week we are focusing on herbs for hair growth, making this tea, so let's jump right into it. All right, so we're gonna begin with our cloves. We're gonna add one teaspoon of whole cloves to the mixture. Next up is our nettle leaves. Go in with two teaspoons of nettle. Next is our horsetail, y'all. This is rich in silica. We're also gonna add two teaspoons. Next up is rosemary. We're gonna go in with one teaspoon of rosemary. Finally, let's add two cups of boiling distilled water to the mixture. Give it a nice stir and let it steep for a minimum of two hours. Y'all notice this rich reddish color, y'all. I like to stir it again about one and a half hours later to make sure the herbs continue infusing. And y'all, after three hours, look how dark and rich this tea is. I'm just gonna pour off the top of the tea into this container for ease of use. Remember, y'all can use this as a final rinse and throughout the week. Okay, now that we have our tea mate, let's go ahead and wash our hair. So let's jump into getting our hair wet and shampooed. So while I shampoo my hair with my Owen Owl shampoo bar, let's talk about some of the toxic chemicals found in hair products for black women that actually fuel breast cancer. So a more recent study showed that hair care and beauty products marketed to black women often contain a class of hormone disrupting chemicals called parabens. Now these parabens are not only linked to increased breast cancer risk, but they can uniquely fuel the spread of cancer cells in black women compared to white women. And the reason is, is that parabens actually mimic the hormone estrogen, which actually fuels dangerous breast cancer cells. And y'all, I wanted to do a little bit more research on this. And I found the article back in 2018 in which scientists at the Silent Spring Institute were measuring concentrations of endocrine disrupting chemicals, such as the parabens and how they interfere with body hormones, especially in products that are marketed towards black women. The study was focused on trying to understand why black women have higher exposures to hazardous chemicals than other groups and how these elevated exposures contribute to health disparities in the U.S. So in the study, they tested 18 different hair products, including hot oil treatments, anti-frizz hair polishers, leave-in conditioners, root stimulators, hair lotions, and hair relaxers. And the researchers tested each product for the presence of 66 endocrine disruptors, that are associated with a variety of health issues, such as reproductive disorders, birth defects, asthma, and cancer. And a total of 45 endocrine disruptors were detected, with each product containing anywhere between four and 30 of the targeted chemicals. This is 11 of the products contain some chemicals that are prohibited in the European Union or regulated under California's Proposition 65 rule as well as hair relaxers marketed at children contain the highest levels of five chemicals prohibited in the EU. Additionally, parabens, fragrances, nolifenols, diethyl phthalates were commonly found in root stimulators, hair lotions, and hair relaxers. And sadly y'all, 84% of chemicals detected were not listed on the product label. Now, if you guys wanna know more about each of the individual products used, you can check out the study listed below, but I'm sure you're probably wondering what else can I do? Because again, 84% of the ingredients that were toxic were not even listed on the label. And I'm here to share with you guys that you can check out or download a website or an app called Detox Me. This is not an ad or a sponsorship by any means, but just a way for you guys to be aware of the harmful chemicals that are found in hair products, especially those that are targeted towards black women, and especially because black women are disproportionately more likely to develop a more aggressive form of breast cancer than white women. Now, I realize y'all that the topic was very deep today, but I do wanna also talk about week two of our protective style challenge because my channel is focused on using natural and Ayurvedic herbs and African herbs 
on your hair care an all natural approach to hair care and today we made that bomb tea featuring clove horsetail nettle and rosemary now each ingredient is unique to helping to stimulate the hair and we'll be using this hair growth tea directly on our scalp now the cloves contain nugenol which has been shown to stimulate hair growth in living creatures as well as the nettle and horsetail are rich in silica and rosemary has been shown to dilate the blood vessels increasing circulation on the scalp and helpful for fighting against male and female pattern baldness so you want to use this on your scalp at least two to three times during the week and y'all i will be using my leave-in conditioner and my twist cream on my hair this week to put my hair into large twists to stretch my hair now y'all know i formulate all of my hair products and it matters to me about the ingredients i choose and i will always label all ingredients on my label list so you're aware of what you're putting onto your hair and into your scalp and i always try to focus on a more natural and clean approach and any preservatives i use are paraben free and any fragrances are phthalate free okay so you guys again i'm just going to stretch my hair in large twists with the leave-in conditioner and my own ala twist cream for the week i was planning on doing actually smaller twists and then literally had no energy to do so and ended up doing a quick and easy style which i'll show you next okay so i actually <laughs> ended up doing uh, twist bangs. I was actually going to twist up my hair and literally ran out of steam and decided, you know what, I'll just leave myself with some twist bangs and I'll put the back of my hair up into a style and I decided to do two pigtails. If your hair is not long enough, you can do one bun for this style. Um, you know, try to find something that works for your length. Sometimes the two is much easier. But basically, <laughs> I have the two pigtails here I use the twist to kind of stretch my hair. My hair is still a little bit damp. Just a tad bit from the styling products and I'm going to lightly twist them into large, very large twists. I'm not doing this tight at all. And then again, I'm just going to lightly pin it to each side. With the bangs to keep them out of my face, I'm just going to pin this as well. Now these twist bangs, I probably have 10 twists up front. Okay. Okay, so this is the end result of the style. All right, you guys, but that's it for this week. Stay tuned for next week. Again, we'll be focusing on this hair growth tea, using it for two weeks in a row with this wonderful wash day. And stay tuned for next week while we talk about further ingredients you want to avoid in your natural and healthy hair regimen. But that's it for this week. I'll see you next time. Bye.